What are the main components of an alarm security system? Before planning and designing the perfect alarm system for your home or business, you must first understand the components and how they work. Next is a glossary that defines the anatomy of an alarm security system with its features and benefits. Control Panel – The Brain of Your System The alarm's control panel is the system's brain. It may resemble an electrical box or can be built into the numeric keypad. The control panel connects to the other components of your security system, either wired or wireless. It's the element that communicates needed information to a monitoring center while it sounds the alarm. Your control panel receives transmissions and signals from alarm sensors. It communicates them back to the monitoring center thus notifying dispatch operators, who notify you and the authorities. Your control panel includes a backup battery built in in case of a power outage. Keypad The numeric keypad is used to control your alarm system. For instance, when you enter or leave the premises, you press your designated alarm code into the keypad to arm and disarm your system. This keypad indicates whether your system is armed or disarmed and alerts you if a door or window is open. Keypads also make any needed programming changes to your system. They are often installed near the entrance or exit of a home or business. Door Sensors Door sensors have two adjoining magnetic parts. One is installed on the door and the other is placed on the door frame. When a door is closed, the two components of the sensors are joined together. Only when a door opens will these sensors separate, causing the alarm to sound. Doors are the most common entry point for intruders infiltrating a home or business. When designing an alarm system for your home or business, installing a door sensor on all doors that lead to the outside is imperative. With a door sensor installed, your keypad will notify you if you have left your door open and not allow you to arm your system, unless you close the door or bypass the sensor. If you enable a specific setting, your keypad will chime when a door is open, letting you know someone has entered. Garage Door Sensors It's imperative to monitor the garage door continually, as this is a vulnerable space inside a home or business. A garage door sensor or contact will notify you if your garage door is open. It comprises a specialized magnetic switch and magnet installed on a garage door constructed to be tough enough to handle harsh environments, compared to a regular door sensor. When the garage door is raised, the movement breaks the circuit and activates the alarm. Window Sensors Window sensors are comprised of two adjacent magnetic parts, one part is installed on the window, while the other part is installed on the window sill or frame. When a window is closed, the two parts of the sensors are joined together. Only when a window is opened will the sensors separate, causing your alarm to sound. With a window sensor installed, your keypad will notify you of an open window and not allow you to arm your system unless you close the window or bypass the sensor. For rooms with many windows, a motion detector or glass break sensor might be an alternative way to lower your one-time installation cost. If you choose that setting, your keypad will chime when a window is open. Motion Sensors The most common type of motion sensor is an infrared sensor, which identifies the presence of a human body on the premises by detecting body heat and a change in energy. The radius and range for a motion sensor vary depending upon the type of sensor, but a typical motion sensor covers a 90 degree radius and 40 feet across a room. Many motion detectors are designed with a pet immunity feature to avoid being triggered by the presence of rats and small pets up to 70 pounds. Glass Break Sensors A standard window sensor will alert you only if a burglar slides a window open so you may need a way to trigger the system if someone shatters your glass without sliding the window open. When a glass break detector senses the breaking of glass, it sets off the alarm immediately. It typically detects glass breaking from 25 feet away. A glass break detector provides an extra layer of perimeter protection as a siren would sound immediately after the glass is shattered while the intruder is still standing outside your house or business, allowing more time for authorities to arrive and intervene. Shock Sensors 
Shock sensors provide early detection by sensing vibrations and any sudden forceful impact on a window or door. They detect the shock waves associated with breaking glass or forced pounding to break down a door. A shock sensor can be installed on a window, stationary glass opening, and a sliding door, where you would not anticipate someone to knock. Shock sensors should not be installed on front doors where knocking is expected. The downside of installing a shock sensor is that it's more prone to provoke a false alarm, elicited by a vibration, not caused by an intruder. For this reason, some may prefer a door, window, or glass break sensor instead. However, shock sensor technology has improved over the years and is no longer prone to provoke false alarms as it once did. Siren Sirens release a loud, audible signal in the event of your alarm tripping. This signal warns you and the people in the area of the danger at hand and provides the opportunity to flee from an intruder. There are indoor sirens and outdoor sirens. Some sirens have sound-specific alerts specifying the type of emergency such as a fire or an intruder. Cellular Alarm Communicators If a security company is monitoring your alarm system, your system must have a point of communication shared with the security provider's monitoring center to alert them in the event your system goes off. The cellular alarm communicators empower the alarm panel to communicate to your security company's monitoring center via a cellular-like cell phones. Some users still utilize the traditional method of communication to a monitoring center via a landline and install this cell guard as a backup, one accessed only after a landline failure. Panic Button a panic button can be mounted under a cash register in a business, on a nightstand by your bed, or worn around your wrist or neck. When both buttons are pressed simultaneously for two seconds, it immediately calls for help to your security monitoring center to dispatch police, fire, or medical services. You can program your panic button to activate, sound, a siren. Panic buttons are typically installed in an easily accessed area that's somewhat hidden, so the intruder will not see the button pressed. Backup Battery While an alarm system is powered by a transformer plugged into an outlet, it can still operate in the event of a power outage by switching to a backup battery that lasts between a few to 24 hours. After the power outage, the backup battery automatically recharges when the power is back on. If your backup battery is low or runs out of juice, your keypad or monitoring alarm company will notify you. Two-way voice The two-way audio feature allows a live operator working from a monitoring center to communicate with you via your keypad's intercom in an emergency. This comes in handy when you do not have your phone with you and will also help reduce false alarms as you can advise the operator not to dispatch help in the event of a false signal.